All right, we are gonna be starting a new game because it, I think I fixed everything. Now everything should work fine now. No any crashes. Still the same mods, more or less, except the battle module for the battle battles or whatever it's called. We are gonna be making a new character though. Come on, give me something to work with. Do wish you could make your character, gr uh, yeah, the uh, his hair gray. They can, uh, or you just need to wait for him to be a million years old for that to actually happen. Oh my God! Okay, there we go. Okay, that's gonna work. Mm, uh, I think I remember these from the last ones. Trained with the infantry. Defeated the enemy. We're gonna go with... Uh, go with... 30 years old. Yeah, oh, right, I don't have this. Do I have it somewhere? The code. Give me a second. So I'm not sure for the clan man name, but we're gonna set it to ro road like a um, Ken in Slavic. Of course, we're gonna go for the highest difficulty, except. The combat AI difficulty because the one of the mods I'm using ups the difficulty by default. No, that's so like going to challenging makes it so it can almost like there's a 99% chance that, that the AI is just gonna block your attacks. So like it's more or less impossible to actually hit them. You know, like lower lower tier enemies let alone the higher ones. So we're gonna keep that there. Maybe I'll move it up to veteran at some point. That's gonna be it for the difficulty. And we are gonna be serving as a soldier still. Or... Uh, oh, look at that, they're already out. Uh, for a... A little bit here. I do wanna get rid of the spear. Oh, I'd want those, but they're too expensive. The difference. There is. Okay, these ones have five in them. Alright, let me turn off the UI. Let's go into the arena a little bit. Just a little bit. So I can get wrecked instantly. Yep. Of course, I'm gonna get the spear. Re really hard to aim without a reticle, to be honest. We're gonna be able to pick up a shield as well. 
Nice. Combat should be a little bit easier until we run into some higher tier enemies. shows up and we're, we're instantly down. Did it turn off the attribute point for a level mod as well? So we're not going to be overpowered in like 10 levels or something. to grab a couple of levels here. Because I did notice that you gain a lot less XP if you go down in a battle. When you're serving an army, that is. It's gonna take a lot longer to level up through the ranks. There's another guy behind us. Yep. Okay, yeah, switch target like that. I see the guys with shields still all are like a pain in the ass to actually hit. Come on, come on, wreck him. Can I not? Okay, there we go. The one I'm gonna get a gel into the face. The one I level up to do any weapons. Oh my fucking god. Wait. It went from there and hit me into the right hand? Okay, sure. Makes sense, doesn't it? Go with wood chopper. Shield bash, even though that's not gonna save my ass. Freeze those. Let's put one into vigor and one into endurance because we wanna get the up to these real fast. We wanna move fast on the battlefield. Let's see who. Are, which one are these? Let's go with Lagerta again. It's funny that the lords start out like like by themselves more or less. Yeah, see. Oh my god, that's a shitty miss. Right, maybe I should get off the horse. We get the athletics. Cool thing, the diplomacy mod actually works. Here, the diplomacy mod actually works. So um, I did see the North, uh, the Nordics, uh, get a peace treaty with the. I'm not sure if it's, it was the Kazites or the Azerai, but um, it can happen. Oh god, I didn't switch my weapon. 
Let's go hammer away at them. Hmm. Actually have some pretty good troops on them. To be honest, we might get wrecked here. Hammer is gonna block an arrow definitely. Oh god. Yeah, I'm not so sure we can win this. Even though we outnumber them. Pickle and a shield. Better than a hammer, that's for sure. real fast so you might have a chance especially if the AI just ignores me personally I can't really tell which one's not ours I suppose that guy right Is it going to be an issue of actually catching? Oh, come on. They still have one Valkyrie on the field. Come on, come to, come towards me, come on. Yeah, this battle might take a while. Was that Valkyrie aggro or something else? With aggro on me, that would be perfect, to be honest. Oh god. Maybe better if I just retreat and like auto resolve the rest of the battle, right? Yeah, look at that. Yeah. It's gonna take a while to be able to catch him. Go to the others. There we go. Alexander. Let's stay on a horse. We can actually lure some bandits into a fight in the beginning. Ooh. The AI really thinks we can win some of these. We need... Yeah, we need throwing skill as well. Wuhan Barbarians. What a name. Oh god, that's... It's gonna be a while till I get my aim down with the... You know, not being able to see the reticle. Let's run away and get off the horse.
The guy with the spear was a little bit of a problem. We do have the better combat mode on, so we can actually slice through enemies and hit multiple... Well, you can uh, with two ammo weapons, but uh, with any weapon at this point. I mean, even like break through blocks if it's a low level enemy. Come on, pro your aim is not shit. These are some pretty good weapons for like low level, well, they're not low level bandits, but they're bandits either way. I'm lost. Okay, we can actually quit out, good. Mm, yeah, I should have fight it. And there are the Ashley Wovitsu. Well, I personally. Very Ram William Mauk. With Krushk. In the last couple of years. Well, basically anything that's not Ashley Wovitsu, he was. I guess, of course. If you drink too much of it, you kind of get tired of it and sick of it as well. Yeah, yeah this our party versus there. That's going to be a little bit better. We can get more kills. And I did figure out why the game was crashing in the siege battles. It's something to do with like... You serve as a soldier, but you don't spawn in as a... You know, in the formation, you can actually like place yourselves on the, ma on the map. So for some reason, while you're infantry in a siege, that crashes the game. Not sure why exactly, but... Um, I turned it off. the hell does the, did the axe go? Yabukovach. Yeah, I do like Yabukovach. Actually, it's one of my... Um, to, it's a to-go-to Rakia, actually. If you can find one that's not, like, super fucking high in alcohol content, that you can't drink it, which is usually the... Idea in our lands, right? Take one sip and you're out. Well, not one sip, like, like... Two or three shots and you're fucking drunk. Right, we got some levels. Um, just do shield breaker and... Uh, increase movement speed. Why is she have? Okay, okay, that was surprising. I was thinking the renegade, the army is gonna go at us. And then lure in all the other bandits to us. <laughs> and lure dying to bandits, that would be a first. Uh, 
gonna tell on the game? A lot laggier. Uh, do you mean like... What, you exit the game, then launch it again? Or like, uh, alt, alt, alt tab and all that? It's a weird issue. It's the wonders of PC gaming. Everything sucks. Nothing works the first time. Give me the dex. Oh, God damn it. You got too greedy. That's weird. Did you buy the game or did you pirate it? That's, that would be the first question, right? Because there's a couple of games that actually have a, like, inbuilt uh, anti rack system. I do remember uh, Lord of the Rings Conquest actually, like, made it so you can, like, get past certain areas of the game. It had, it had an invisible wall. Those were the days. Then you buy the game and find out the servers are down for it. Because EA is, um, EA doesn't want to let anyone else host the servers. So that was freaking fun and money wasted. The block ain't gonna save ya. Dax. What do you mean it lies like lower FPS? Come on. <laughs> you know what? I got motion blur on. It's ah, oh, it's awful in first person. First person, that's for sure. Jesus Christ! Third person, it actually works. I mean, it's not that bad. Blah. <laughs> running your game twice uh well check if it is actually because sometimes like when you exit the game it stays the the launcher stays up for some reason and you need to like um you know turn it off in the task manager for some reason it's really odd but it happens do great we can actually change our weapons now let's go for these guys because they got extra Throwing weapons. Still stay on a horse, though. It's not gonna help that much. I don't plan on having kids in this in this playthrough. There's only two of them. Yeah, check the task manager. It might be still on. Seems that could be an issue. Or just bypass the launcher, use the uh, mountain blade battle load launcher from the next mods. Works a little. Oh, right, I got another set of uh, throwing axes. Oh, throwing spears. I was wondering why I can't block. <laughs>
Well, let's check did the did the AI actually make an alliance with someone yet? Oh, they were just at war. Let's see them make an alliance. Let's see another faction make an alliance while I was play testing this. I don't remember which one though. The these Sturgeons made an alliance with the Ezrai for some reason. Oh, I mean, they, you know, they're on the opposite sides of the map. It doesn't make much sense, but at least they did it. So the mod actually works. Or uh, it works, but, then, you know, it doesn't have a peach. Peacher. A peacher. A peach. A feature that's not, uh, like, actually ever gonna, like, appear in game or work. Get done. The non aggression packs, though, make it so that there's less war, though. Oh. <laughs> Funny how he still pulls, pulls out, like, a thing from the same area. That would be a cool, cool like, a little animation. Putting out the weapon from another one of these on his back. That's a hit. Must have mods. I'll show you after this. Actually, I should make a list on my gold server, right? That would, that would be I like it, a good addition. Then again, I don't use that many mods that alter the game that much. But uh, you got to have these first five. Those are like the ones you need. Harmony, better exception, exception window. What battle lib mods, light or battle lib libraries? UI extender, mod configuration, those are like must have for all, or all the other mods. I would go for the diplomacy, it's pretty cool to have that in. Improved garrison definitely helps you out with the garrison, so you don't actually need to go and recruit specifically for a garrison. It does it automatically for you, you can set all the stuff in there, you saw that. I'd use, the, I'd use this thing for service just because the companions are so awful since they're all randomly generated, not pre-made, like it, they were in Warband. I mean, true arena experience, you can, but you don't need the banner pace just for the banner. Fill stacks makes the game, uh, makes the AI play by your rules, not cheat. The arrow one is a cool feature. Righteous executions, if you do want to, like, actually get rid of a faction and its members because otherwise they just um, run around the map even though they got no cities or castles they can just still bug you forever so well as a soldier you're seeing it now a true battle loot I think makes the game too easy but I'll keep it on because you can the easiest way to make money is just fight take the stuff or the loot and sell it like I did one battle in my playtest, or maybe like two battles, and I made like 50k. And that's like versus versus ban like one balance player and a couple of uh, renegades, a party of renegades, and I made 50k off of, of the equipment. So I mean, you can't tune that in the mod options, but still, it makes the game too easy. True relations is good. Yell out. It just makes the guys, uh, when you give them an order, they like, you know, reply with something. Better combat is good. And you can tweak it a lot. Realistic battle AI module if you want the game to be a little bit harder and the AI for it to be a little bit smarter. I'll make a list of like mods you want to take. There's a whole bunch. It really depends if you want to play the one, like, native vanilla version of the game or modded like which new factions and units and all that because that changes things a lot there's a download overhaul mod which i don't think works with most of the stuff 
that I want to show now. I really fucking forgot. Right. Campaign. No, not campaign. Options. Uh, mod options, yeah. So there's a whole lot of stuff here. Like you can regen. You can... Health from athletics. Yeah, look at that. I, I didn't touch any of this. Because that may make the game a little bit too easy. Hit multiple targets to set that to two end weapons that for, uh, you know, only, nothing else. Splice through and this off. Not many enemies. I'm not sure how this works. I'm gonna need Sammy to appear and explain it to me. I'm gonna leave that off, but like, l l look at all this lifesteal, regeneration. I think that would make the games a little bit too easy if you apply all those. And here's the loot one. It's actually, um, we're not gonna lead a faction for a while, so, uh, lead a party for a while, so let's leave that. Manage looted goal. Enabling will override vanilla looted goal amounts with custom amounts. Oh, yeah, look at that. Amount of gold looted from bandits. Shouldn't that be at 100%, you know? I'll make a list of mods that I think you got to like have. Or you're just going like on a X mods and like the, you know, top, all time top rated mods and all that. And just, you know, that's pretty much it. I mean, the base game is, isn't that awful. It's pretty, I mean, it's pretty decent. And again, I'm the one who only plays Prophecy of Pandora and never plays native warband ever for like past, I don't know how many years. We have this ma this many fucking skirmishers, just to be honest. But don't go play on like a harder difficulty or like combat AI on challenging. Maybe like move it up to whatever the second one is. Because you, there's literally no way to hit them. They just read your boom, like your your actions. There's like it's it's awful. Unless you lance enemies, there's like a 99% chance they're gonna block your attack. They'll read your inputs. Ah shit. Well, the diploma is pretty decent, especially if you have it from like the beginning. Alliance has scanned form. That's what I'm really interested in. Like, how. What, if the Batanians and the Sturgeons are in Alliance, can you like both attack or them help you out attacking uh, the epic city over there? That's, that's what I want to know. Okay, let's get off the horse. This time I stay behind the infantry. So I can actually stay alive. <laughs> Would be cool if I could like... Well, I actually can. I have an idea. <laughs> Might be a scummy idea, but it's an idea. 
Oh, sorry. Let me just pick up your axe. They're much easier. <laughs> I get rid of that shit. Actually, this is one good thing about being like taller than anyone else. You can shoot over their heads, kind of. Once I get my athletics up, we can actually catch up to all of these too. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, okay, apparently that was our guy. Never mind. We can do this actually. Uh, options, mod options. Prevent troops from fleeing. Yeah, do that until we like get further into the game. Make it so the bandits can't actually like run away. It's gonna be much easier. Oh, the motion blur is so fucking awful. Let's actually check something. Uh, okay, the field of view is already at max, never mind. Personally, I can't play a mountain blade at all, like in first person, unless I'm using a bow, I'd say. I was thinking of uh, enabling the combat module of this mod, like the better battles, but uh, it's gonna fuck up the equipment for some troops, so let's not do that. Okay, looks like we're at war or something, there's an army forming, good. You know, let's not lure them into an ambush yet. Wanna be full HP? Motion Blur is uh, like the only game I think you can like leave Motion Blur off and it uh, looks cool it's like racing games but that's about it I do wish the AI would like be more dec decisive though like look at this You gonna go over there or not? The fill stacks does lessen the, uh, you know, lower the amount of troops the AI gets because they don't get ones for free, but they can they can get some pretty big armies real fast. Despite that.
gonna get pissed if I get killed by a rock. What the hell are they? Yeah, I did turn off retreating, so I don't know why they were like, oh, we're gonna go back, we're gonna go forward. Oh. Indecisive still. But then again, like I well, always we said, the AI is something that no developer will level get, especially in like strategy or RTS games. Like sure, uh, fear has good AI, but um, you know it's handcrafted. Or every every encounter is ha handcrafted more or less. And location as well. Target the toes, man. Yeah, I set it so they don't retreat. What? Unmodded? Oh my god. Well, hello there. I mean, uh, I do like archer spam, so I guess the Batanians are the best with the Fians, with their like noble units, I'd say. Although they do lack. Oh, their infantry is. Like, there's no like one good faction in the game, to be honest. Some, well, there's always some that do something better. So, like, the Nords always like have the. Like, basically, like in Warband. Nords have a uh, best infantry. Uh, Cav, uh, well, I'm not sure about Cav. But you know, crossbowmen, archers, skirmisher archers, I'd say. Yeah, and heavy Cav. The Empire is like a good mix of everything, I'd say. That's but well, I'm not sure about the Valandians. What else could you say about them? Uh, like, uh, honestly, I didn't play that much uh, native battle lord. So, uh, I couldn't really tell. That's why I say uh, uh, Prophecy of Pandora, like, spoiled me forever. Like, I just don't want to play, na like, vanilla game games anymore. Like, uh, vanilla mountain play games. Okay, let's go with... Uh, medicine Wait a minute, there isn't there a war on how about you go help over there let's lure these into a battle come on turn around It's like, like, like a lure, a big uh, chunk of them, like a big sack of dudes into a battle, and then another, uh, uh, and then the Lord runs into another big sack of dudes, and they like combine. That would be fucking funny to see. Still, like I'm, I'm. Like I, Rome Total War made a like. The whole map a battle map. And what was it back in 2000? What was it four? Six? I, know, I can't remember, to be honest. And to this day, a lot of people like actually wanted to do the same thing. 
and just they just can't. Otherwise, I mean, uh, I do get like you have to like make a battle map for the whole map. I get like that's that's an issue. It takes a lot of work. Well, I mean, this game is in development for over ten years at this point. And it's been out for like a year and a half too at this point. Maybe I should just do this, get behind their back and then throw axes at them or uh, javelins at them. I said it so what? Okay, maybe I need to check the mod options again. Where should I click down the uh, no retreat? But this is a tactical retreat, isn't it? Come on, cow. It's, it's one guy. There we go. Battle? Oh shit, should have checked the mod options again. I mean, there's always a lot of fun to be had in Banlow depending on what you want to do. If you want like, to become the best blacksmith and merchant and all that, it'll be cool. I mean, you can do that. Like the biggest complaint I'd say is that like the the fact that changed that the you know payouts are daily. You need to pay wages daily, not weekly. It kinda of sucks a little bit. Because if you're a mercenary, you can't really do much in a day to get paid a lot more. And the mercenary contracts just pay shit, to be honest. In the first place. They want to see a mod up the mercenary pay, definitely. No point. I mean, that couldn't be hard to do, right? Just up the amount of money, or like modifiers for the amount of money you get from mercenary contracts. Because you don't want to join a clan that early. This time they didn't retreat. We just need a little bit more XP to get the... Actually, the... Berserker Axe tier is at tier 4, I think. It's gonna be a, way, a little bit way off. I don't think we're gonna like um, get to tier um, well, the, to the Berserker tier and just uh, then grab the axe. I guess I could leave the, leave the uh, you know just run away from the faction so we get the gear all the gear, then join back in as a mercenary or something. But that's gonna be an idea. The idea. And I didn't really decide yet what exactly I'm gonna do. I 
was thinking of going with the you know the uh, the banner quest to get the, when you go into a campaign play a campaign but since we didn't go with the campaign uh, I might just join the Sturgeon Empire so because yeah, I mean the there's not that much, we can join the Empire capture a couple of towns or get something to hold then just leave it and make my make our own Oh right, I did oh god I forgot again. I did say I was gonna download can I Okay. I did say I was gonna download the map pack. I need to get a faster horse or a horse with more maneuver. Where the fuck's the. Oh, don't tell me the uh, infantry is like holding back like in one of those we had not too long ago. In the last three in the one battle. And they're just stuck in the back. There we go, cab charge, come on. Someone's about to get poked. What a mess. Nope, I was in a, in a relationship. For five years, we broke up in April. I guess it's been almost a year, but I had like, man, I got some freedom now. Now I'm enjoying it, somewhat. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, we want this guy. Get these in. Give you... Mm, you want to be on a horse? Nah, no, let's not be on a horse anymore. Yeah, she formed an army. Ooh, Ragnar is coming to join us. There's definitely something wrong with the, like mod, not like um, implementing you into the um, the army that you're actually a part of as a soldier, but you're like it's a specific like party in the in the army when that happens. I think we just got peace. No. Why did the, the why did the fucking thing here disappear? Questions, so many questions. Okay, there we go. It's appeared again. I think we go, if we go besiege something, we're gonna get wrecked. I think the Batanis have a little bit bigger or bigger of an army. What the? Apparently, when you s finish raiding, it, the, f the army like disbands. What? I'm confused. No, 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 no. Oh god, damn it! That would have been a cool battle. you make up your freaking mind? Did he fuck himself? No, he did not. Apparently. Yeah, that's... That looks like you can get across there, definitely. Am 
my god, we're gonna chase him forever at this point. <laughs> oh, look at that. The renegades are our allies in this one. It seems. I still don't understand why like spawns you looking this way. And I never oh shiny. Okay, we're gonna lose the battle. There's sun in our sun in our eyes, right? Like, do you have a girlfriend? Uh, well, uh, that won't work. I was gonna like, hey, did you uh, just assume my gender? Like my sexual preference? What? All oh, right, they have calf. Can't even take a drink of water. One headshot off. Alright, oh, got throwing axes as well. Forgot about that. Yeah, fuck. Would like to grab a dual hand weapon, uh, but there ain't, there ain't none on the field. Okay, so I did turn off for shooting. So this might take a while. They have a lot of cav that's gonna be running around, doing fuck all. Wait a minute. We might actually... Yeah, we're gonna lose. Look. Oh, God. <laughs> but at least they don't actually, like, take you prisoner. So that's good. Now let's uh, okay, let's not go into his army. I think he d d really doesn't do that much in the way of war. He usually just sits around the uh, like capital, more or less. Oh god, well, that was good. I almost ran into them. Ooh, a little girl. Wait a minute. Oh, she she might not be a uh, like commander or something. Uh, I know. Sh uh, I just get wrong. 